ASMR Sports. Back in your business. Uh, all right, today we've got a little throwback. Some time ago, this boy, I bought this, uh, I don't know, probably eight months to a year ago, something like that, I feel. Um, and uh, yeah, I was just thinking it would, it would make a pretty cool video, so I thought I would um, trot it out. So, as you guys know, if you watch this channel, I'm a big fan of unopened products from yesteryear. It's definitely my kind of uh, my lane. And uh, I saw this one for sale um, on a Facebook uh, group, and um, it sounded pretty fun, so I picked it up. What this is is a box of cello packs. Those are the. Cellophane wrapped. Um, how many cards are in here? 28 cards. I was supposed to have 15 in a um, wax pack. So this is a full box of set packs from 1986 tops, one of my favorite years and uh, brands of cards. unique about this particular box is that it is filled with um, rack packs that have a star showing I think either on the front or the back maybe both in some cases now you may not know it but there's a I don't know not like large but somewhat decent sized market of collectors out there who, who uh, collect uh, cello packs like this or rack packs which are the you know the packs with three cells of cards basically equivalent to three wax packs but they you know they're wrapped in cellophane so you can see those cards too um, and even wax packs um, all of these different kinds of packs can show players, um, you know, on the front or the back. And um, some people like to collect, uh, you know, the packs that have their favorite player on them. Or maybe just they like to collect packs that show rookie cards. I've never really been into that um, too much, although I've been tempted many times to try and get a bunch of packs with like Don Mattingly showing since he's my favorite all-time player. Um, and I don't, I don't think I have a single, well I have a 87 Fleer uh, cello pack with like a all-star in a uh, subset. Actually I think that's an insert, not a subset, yeah it's an insert. Um, showing like on the back I think is what it is. I just happened to see those at a card shop one day and thought I'd pick them up so. Um, let's go through these, see what we see. So this one has uh, Jim Rice on the front. Um, some of these stars are, you know, debatable. <laughs> but Jim Rice, you know, was a solid player in his day. This on the front, um, I want to say that's, yeah, that's Bill Matlock on the front. Who I don't think it was ever really considered a star, so I want to see was on the back of this one. I th yeah, so um, all Oreos. Orioles. I'm guessing this is maybe Cal Ripken. But I'm not sure. Tied the league for 22 home runs in whatever year that is. Um, I kind of want to see if I can... Uh,
I think I figured, you know, this, this box is roughly the price of a... Uh... Actually, I suppose I, well, I can't quite see that. Well, actually, yeah. So it's card number 30. I, I have to believe this is Cal Ripken. Um... Well, actually, no, he would not. It's got to be Eddie Murray's who's got to be because... Um... Cal Ripken did not play for that long before 1986, so he wouldn't have that many years of stats, so... Interesting. I guess he's number 40. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, that's an error in that listing, because this other one says 30. Yeah. So this is uh, Eddie Murray on the back here. And... Uh, on the front, Steve Garvey in the back. Funny, because they're both, like, sort of, like, just below the cusp to get into the Hall of Fame, both of those guys, but they were pretty big stars in the 80s and the 70s. So funny that they should show up on the same back. So this one's kind of crazy. Um, it's, like, super tightly wrapped. You notice these ones are pretty loosely wrapped. They have some give. This one is, like, just super tight. So, I don't know. The heat must have been super high on the on the sealer that day um, but you do see some packs like this sometimes so Nelson Simmons on the front of this one actually you know what like I'm is there like a piece of gum in there there might be a piece of gum in there that's um, no, I don't think there is I feel like that's um, you see like there's some space in this one there this one has no space anywhere. So, I don't know. I think this is like an error pack. It doesn't have any gum in it. Very strange. Um, let's see who's on the back. Uh, Tigers. It's 270-something. Um, so, lifelong Tiger. Gosh, who could that have been? Looks like they started in, like, 1977, I think that is. Jack Morris. Let's see who that is. So, Hall of Famer now. And a double Tigers. Pack there with Nelson Simmons on the front. So, alright, there you go. That was a weird one. Uh, Phil Necro. I might not um, bring you guys over to the checklist screen every time just to make this a little more efficient. On the back, we got Pirates, 730-something. Let's see if I can figure out that is 730. Pirates. Um, so, Ozzy Smith is 730. Uh, it'd be nice if it was him, but... Gosh, who is it? So we've got, seven, let me read you the checklist from 7.30 to 7.39. Ozzy Smith, Don Robinson, Floyd Yelmans, Ron Romanek, Marty Barrett, Dave Trevecki, Glenn Wilson, Pete Vukovich, Andre Robertson, and Dave Rosima. Well, none of those guys other than Ozzy Smith seems like a star, and I'm not... Um, and it's it looks like it's Don Robinson, who uh, began in 19... 78 with the Pirates, which 
played with them all the way through 1987. So I guess Phil Negro is the star on this one. All right, here we finally got a, what I would call a megastar. Um, I guess Eddie Murray's also a megastar, but this guy's even better than that. Mike Schmidt is on the front of this one. I'm not gonna look at who's on the back, but that's a pretty cool one. That's, that's one that might actually have, you know, a market. <laughs> since um, I'm sure there's Schmidt collectors out there. All right, here we have uh, an upside down Dale Murphy. And I'm not gonna look at who that is. A's and Giants, A's and Mariners. I don't think that's anybody. So um, I'll just show you this one real quick because it's got Eddie Murray on the front there instead of the back. So now we've got Eddie Murray on the front, Eddie Murray on the back. Here's another one of those like super tight ones. This one I can feel the gum, it's on this edge here. You can kind of see it there. I wonder if that happened on the other one where it was like on the blind side. No, don't, does it, well, oh actually, yeah, actually, I think that gum is right there on this side that's blocked by the text. So, it's just, yeah, you can feel it on like one side but not the other when they're so tightly wrapped. So here's one, Dale Murphy. This is the team um, leaders, Braves leaders card. So on the back, it shows like they're batting and hitting leaders in a few different categories. Uh, twins. Is there an 82? That might be like Herbeck or something. This one's a cool one. Um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of when these are upside down because that's really how it should be oriented. And then it's upside down all done. You can see their name like super clearly, which is kind of fun. But here we've got George Brett on this one. Somebody on the Reds who's probably like a rookie or second year. Speaking of the Reds, here's an awesome one because it's a superstar and you know it's oriented correctly here in the back there's Pete Rose and Pete Rose had um, two cards here and I'll show you right away the next one um, this is his uh, manager card you remember he was a player manager for a few years there and uh, this is his player card and it says first base manager on there and then this is just his manager and so they had you know cards of all the managers so he got two different cards in this set and I think uh, a couple of others too I feel like they did that in 85 too. And I can't remember if he was still the manager in 87. I feel like he was. So I think I think that's correct that he had a three years where he was, you know, two card wonder. But yeah, anyways, there you go, Pete Rose. And then I see we have uh, doubles on the Pete Rose manager one, so. Upside down megastar here. Here's Wade Boggs on the front. And uh, let's see, Cardinals and Mets. Ooh, could that be uh, Keith Hernandez? I think it is. On the back of this one. Alright, on this one, Rusty Staub is on the front. So, who is on the back here? Oh boy, this is one of those tight packs. I can't really see. First Tops card, 1985 Tops traded, number 43T. We can look that up. That is going to be Ozzy Guillen. So, it's an Ozzy Guillen rookie card on the back there. Here is yet another Pete Rose card. Uh, they had in this set, this 86 top set, these, um, um, this kind of uh, subset of Pete Rose retrospectives where they showed all of his prior tops cards. This is the first one because I see 1963 right there. There's 64, 65, and 66. And then they had, you know, more of these cards to showing the next four years, the next four years, and so on. Through, I think they would have one going through 1985. So that was kind of a cool set. You know, 
back back in 86 Pete Rose was absolute on fire in the hobby um, I just remember um, I, I, I start I, I start collecting um, you know very uh, very naively around uh, 86 and just kind of bought whatever I could find at the store and eventually I you know um, ended up moving schools and uh, made friends with um, a bunch of kids that were pretty serious about card collecting and they kind of I, I quickly had to learn <laughs> you know who was hot who was not in the hobby and you know I had to figure out who my player favorite player was and all that so I remember Pete Rose was you know super sought after if you had Pete Rose cards you were in good shape you could trade those for good stuff and I went out looking for um for uh Pete Rose cards that I could find on the cheap all right um that's um Dave Johnson, manager of the Mets, back in 86, and then Dick Williams on the back, so I'm not sure why that's a star pack, but I think there's probably a couple of, like, you know, <laughs> sketchy inclusions in this box, that being one of them. Um, some pitcher on the back for the Royals, it's a star here, is obviously Dave Winfield. Once again, he's upside down. Here's another cool one, um, Dwight Gooden, also at this time, and um, a bit later, you know, when I started collecting series, which I think was around 87, um, Dwight Gooden was, uh, you know, Hobby Magma. He uh, was just an absolute, uh, you know, phenom and dominated in his first few years in the league, and everybody was just itching for his rookie cards like you wouldn't believe, and this was a second-year card. Of his, I actually remember uh, one of my mom's uh, fr like um, co-workers um, was a card collector, and she would tell me that from time to time. And I never, I don't, I only talked to him like maybe a couple of times about it. Um, I was pretty young at that time, and um, yeah, one day he brought me, I think like just like a, a few different, a few different cards, like they were all good cards. And this was by far the best one. He brought me a Dwight Gooden. And I feel like it would, it, there was something wrong with it. Like there was like a printer mark on it or maybe a gum stain on the back or something. But it was his 86 tops. And I remember it, it was the best card I had <laughs> at that time. You know, and he gave it to me for free. And uh, it's funny because I kind of remember this guy as being not like super like friendly. Um, you know, n not super outgoing or anything. And funny because uh, I imagine what kids think of me <laughs> um, you know these days and they maybe think I'm kind of a, the same way but um, in any event uh, yeah I, I remember getting that card from this guy and just thinking holy crap I got a, I got a free second year Dwight Gooden that's like insane um, so um, yeah I don't know I, I wish uh, I had an opportunity to return the favor, but no kid I know collects cards. <laughs> if I gave him, if I gave him like a three hundred dollar, you know, look at Doncic rookie, they wouldn't know what, you know, what, what the hell is this thing. Um. So someday maybe I'll um find uh, a kid who appreciates, you know, especially the sort of stuff that I collect, like this kind of stuff. Um. Another. Upside down superstar weight box. It's the second weight box here. Here we got uh, razor shines on the front of this one. Another one of these, like, well, it's kind of a hybrid. This side's really tight. This side's got a little give to it. Um, fortunately, the star, I think, is on the back. So we got Tigers, Angels, Pirates. Wow, I don't know who the hell that would be. 630 something. Gosh. Started with the Tigers and went to the Angels and the Pirates and uh, looks like a position player. Did he ever lead the league in anything? I, not that I can see. But some decent home run numbers. Man. Really? I don't know. I'd have to do a couple of damages. So six, six thirty something. 
then I'm gonna go I'm gonna check the checklist out. So it's Jason Thompson. I couldn't even tell you <laughs> the first thing about that guy. So that's another dud pack that really shouldn't be in here. But oh well. Wow, third weight box. Like that. I don't know if anybody really collects weight box. Whitey Herzog on the front of this one. Um, this looks like, yeah, Padres. So I think um, Tony, Tony Gwynn would be on that card. Two more to go here. Tim Hewlett on the front, so we must have a star on the back, hopefully. A Mets rookie. Oh, man, who were the Mets rookies? Like Lenny Dykstra, maybe, in this set. I think that's probably who it is. Um... Can't really see much on there. Let me see if I can. See the stats on Dykstra, so. stats on the page I'm looking at. Um, by the way, I think, yeah, Lenny Dykstra. <laughs> Lenny Dykstra is the guy that used to call into um, Howard Stern show. And he was like a complete, like, sort of, like, drug addict, sex addict, like, just wild man. Um, and uh, I, <laughs> I hear his segments on, uh, I have, um, Sirius FM, and there's like a, you know, there's like a main Howard Stern channel, where his current shows are played, and then there's like a sort of, you know, Howard Stern kind of classics, where they just play like clips of his older shows, and th th there's definitely some Lynn Dykstra stuff on there, um, but I think that's, I think that's who that would be. Uh, I'm not sure there were any other offensive rookies for the Mets at this time, but, um, well, whatever. Oh, wow, look at that. This card, this, uh, pack is kind of got a little tear in it, but still sealed. So I'll keep it that way. If I ever get some extras, I may replace that in this box, but, all right, last pack here, guys. 85 record breaker Pete Rose, so that must be his, you know, all time hit record. In the back, somebody on the twins. I don't think it's anybody good. So. Alright, folks, there you have it. 24 quote unquote star showing packs. Star on top, sometimes star on bottom, sometimes star went out to lunch and never came back. But yeah, cool stuff. I actually, um, I actually saw somebody selling a very similar box, but instead of 86, it was 85. However, they wanted like I think $490 plus shipping for it, which isn't, you know, a terrible deal. I think cello boxes of 85 tops do go for about 500 bucks, you know, with no stars. So it, it, it seemed about as good a deal as
as this one was. But I don't know at that $500 price point, I'd, I'd rather just sort of buy something that appeals to me a little bit more than, than that, even though I think there were some really cool ones in there. There was like a Kirby Puckett with, um, you know, him on the top of the pack. There was like some Dwight Gooden ones, which I guess aren't really worth anything now because Dwight Gooden, you know, obviously <laughs> fizzled. Uh, but still would be very cool uh, nostalgia to look at. But I don't know, maybe if the price on that one drops a little bit, I might pick it up. Like if it was like 450 bucks or something, I might I might do it or 400 But yeah, at like about 500 bucks, it's not, not terribly tempting. There are other things I would rather pick up if I'm going to spend that much money. So anyways, folks, that's what we got for today. Um, stay tuned for more kind of vintage wax content. I've got some other stuff on the way, and they should be uh, fun things to look at. So we'll catch you all next time. You have a great one. Bye now.